So now let's talk about our eighth treatment for erectile dysfunction, and that's using stem cells. So there are different types of stem cells you can use. Uh, one of the most common ones is bone marrow stem cell, and that's actually coming from you yourself. So this is a minor surgery where they have to drill a hole, typically in your hip, and that's where they're extracting the bone marrow. And then once they centrifuge it and separate it, that's when they'll inject it back into the penis. And um, typically they'll do it the same way using the PRP with the bone marrow. And the idea is to regrow new tissue and new blood vessels, help with growth factors. The other one is adipose stem cells. This one isn't as common. They're not doing it as much anymore just because of the FDA regulations. But again, adipose is coming from you yourself and it is a minor procedure. So they'll have to do a little bit of liposuction in order to get your adipose tissue, which is fat, just so you guys know what adipose is. Um, and then there's also you know, the placenta form. So Wharton's jelly and amniotic fluid. Um, those are the other two stem cell sources, which are usually outsourced from another company. Now with stem cells, they are cells and they're living cells, which mean that they carry uh, genetic material or DNA. They also carry messenger RNA. So they're a little bit larger cell, which can actually clump. Um, and so, you know, you just have to watch for that. We've also heard, you know, patients talking about, well, if it's a live cell and you defrost it, am I having any living cells? Are they all dead? And that's a possibility, yes, especially if it is coming from uh, the Wharton's jelly or the amniotic fluid. Whereas if it's coming from you yourself, you know, it's your own living cell. So they're not actually having to freeze it. So um, just, you know, those are the four different most common types of stem cells that are used. So the pros with using stem cell treatment is it is more effective than just using PRP, which is your platelet-rich plasma, as David had discussed just a minute ago. Um, so it is used for regenerative medicine. It's going to regrow tissue and new blood vessels. It does have growth factors and healing properties. So it just kind of like, um, you know, makes things better as far as tissue regeneration. Now, the cons of doing stem cell is basically what I said. You know, if you're gonna use your own bone marrow or your own adipose tissue, it is a minor procedure that you're gonna have to go through. So, you know, they are gonna have to either twilight you or put you under an anesthesia so that they can drill the hole in your hip or they're gonna have to do a little bit of liposuction so that they can get that adipose tissue. Um, the con with the Wharton's jelly and the amniotic fluid is basically what I was saying before, it is coming frozen, so you do have to warm this up and you know you do run the risk of killing the cells when you do warm that vial up.